Hi everyone so today i have an amazing video basically this workflow is a one click solution if you want to create like let's say 50 or 100 of these kind of diff different uh, transparent images so these can be used like uh, generally we see in web designing e-commerce or uh, in uh, videos like when we are creating even the thumbnail that we are creating for youtube videos we need these kind of images right and the problem is it is easy to do when we are using photoshop or something like canva uh, although it is uh, like paid in canva but there are some kind of websites which allow us uh, to convert five of these images for free photoshop allows us to do that but uh, you need photoshop for that and some kind of skill set here you can just load a text file with let's say 200 different prompts click q prompt for once and it will start running and all of these images will be directly generated and then the background will be removed and saved and all of this will be automatic also i have a bonus workflow where you can uh, select any folder with your own images and you click the q prompt once and it will remove all the uh, background from that particular uh, like those images in that folder and save them so i'll come to that uh, later here you can see there are two ways to load this prompt right so one of them is basically uh, let's say this i have provided this link right so in this link when you go to this particular like folder you can create a text file and in the text file you can put let's say 100 prompts how you can put the prompts every prompt must have this is the format basically and don't worry i have also provided a format here to directly generate it using chat gpt or something like that so don't worry about that here you can see there is a positive prompt there is a negative and flux although doesn't use the negative but we need because the nodes uh, demand it you see these hyphens right the line this is what is actually separating both of the prompts so you can have 100 of these so either you can use this or you can just right click and bypass or you can uh, remove the connection and uh, create a text file of all of this like normal open your notepad copy paste in the text file save it in this location this would be in the workflow so you can directly uh, navigate there now if you want to create like generate let's say 100 uh, 10 20 100 whatever you need i have provided this prompt so here you can see above is the format i have provided some prompts above is the format and i have uh, written like the, these are separated by the hyphen here you just need to put uh, put your subject with a black screen i have put because it uh, helps to like remove uh, the background better but you can choose anything like it is uh, pretty good with removing backgrounds which have like different kinds of backgrounds or uh, in a street photography as well and i'll show you in this image to image one i'll show you in that now uh, also i have provided in this like provided in a code editor so it can be directly copy pasted and i'll show you why so what you can do is that directly copy it paste it here and in place of subject what you can do is put whatever you like i have put a gorgeous woman in red dress and now when i run it you can use the chat gpt or anything as well i am using perplexity you see there is this pay, copy button and when you use something in code editor this uh, generally comes up you can directly copy it from here right and then you can paste it here so you can paste it now this has 10 i have provided 10 you can generate how much you want now i would not be uh, generating that much because i am just showing an example so what i'll do is that i'll remove all of this so these are four prompts here uh, i think we don't even need four like let's keep it to three so we have three prompts here you can see gorgeous woman in red dress and uh, gown and everything is there and we'll 
uh, if you are using this then it doesn't matter what uh, is the prompt file it will always take uh, the prompts from here and if you don't have this if you delete this then you can directly use the prompts so now here i have provided two options you can basically select any of these so the photo illustration one is when you are uh, when you want to have uh, somewhat uh, smoother edges you can see in this particular image for the hair and everything the edges are slightly smoothened out and not that jaggy if you want that this is the best one for some particular images like uh, you would have noticed stickers which have uh, kind of white thick borders i have seen that this kind of smoothens it out a little bit much so you can use this one hard borders or edges you can use the second one and here you can change the threshold and everything so i would be using the first one because this is a photo and in photo it is always better to use smoothing edges now i'll just run this so as you can see the generations are complete and these are pretty good like when you compare this obviously uh, you need to be more specific if you want close up or anything in that particular prompt so that all the prompts are generated like that because the prompt has flowing gown and stuff like that these are full body images and as you can see the removal of the background is pretty good and even in the edges it looks like a slight shadow but it doesn't look bad at all and remember you can click on these and these are all separate images basically like this is not one single image and all of these will be saved in your output folder and that too in one click so you just run this you do your work keep it uh, keep this open and it will keep on generating now one thing you need to remember firstly it will uh, if there are 10 prompts it will generate 10 prompts here then it will move forward to the save image and then it will move forward for the removal of background so you would not see that one image is getting generated here then it goes to save and then the background is removed so don't worry maybe uh, like uh, initially i was also thinking that uh, it is stuck here on loop but it is not the case let it run completely this uh, sampler then all of them will be saved uh, at once and all of them will go for the removal of background now here as we are done with this we'll here i have provided another like switch so enabling the second one first one this all gets uh, like disabled muted here in this folder section you have to put the location of any folder which has your desired images so if you want if you have 100 images you want uh, like uh, the removal of background so put them in any folder copy the location put it here don't change anything else here you can see i'll just queue the prompt so it will run and you will see that uh, and this is real time so uh, this is real time and you will see how fast it is uh, this is 8 gb vram version uh, of uh, 4060 rtx so you can see for these many images it was less than 1 minute to remove all of the backgrounds and that too when i have obs and nvidia broadcast open so like all of the 8 gb vram is not being used and if you see some of them will be pretty perfect you know i had all of these images and now some of them which have like very hard edges it would have this slightly white line so this is one thing like uh, but then again the quality is pretty okay if you compare with speed and as well as with uh, like uh, the resources because i am this uh, i am running this locally on my laptop and uh, you can see like this is pretty good now uh, this is also pretty good the background was red and this is pretty good here you can see in this particular image 
the red lighting slightly seeps in so if you look closely like in between the hairs it cannot remove that efficiently so again if you have uh, images against black background or uh, uh, let's say like white background it works best even in this white one you can see like it has tried to remove this was against a white background but uh, it uh, kind of removed and smoothened out uh, the edges so it was pretty good so all of these and uh, it can even you can see like this belt it uh, also analyzed this belt so this is pretty good in like foreground detection so yeah this is it and if you have any kind of doubts or suggestions please uh, comment down below and i'll try to reply as soon as I, uh, as soon as possible yeah Thank you.